Lord, amen. Bless the Lord with me. And something about, amen, the praises that we give unto the Lord, amen. We wonder how can we bless him? We'll bless someone who has everything, amen. the one who fills the universe. But we can bless him, amen, with our praise. We can bless him, we can lift him, we can make him happy, amen. We can move God, amen, by our praise. So bless the Lord with us. This morning, amen, as the praise of go forth, amen, bless the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord.
in the Lord. Amen. Um, and so uh, we prepare now, amen, for the word of the Lord. Amen. The Lord is going to speak unto us uh, the word of the Lord. And so be prepared, amen, to hear uh, what the Lord will have to say unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. I know the word of God is good. The word of God is good. Amen. We came uh, to worship, we came to praise, and we came to hear, to be built, and to be strengthened uh, through the word of the Lord. Amen. And so, uh, as we going forth, amen, the uh, praise team is going to sing one more song. Amen. And, uh, and then the word of the Lord. Amen. And so, we are grateful unto God. Amen. How many know you're blessed? Amen. If you can look around and see and look at your hands and look at you know, look in the mirror or whatever, amen, uh, look at your family, amen, and your activities, the things even that we take uh, for granted, amen, we, we ought to be thankful for, amen. And so we ought to not focus on the negativity that comes in our life because that's right. going to be there, amen. Right. Sometimes there's going to be a pain and sometimes right. somebody's going to uh, do us wrong or we may have trouble on a job or uh, have a bill problem, amen, whatever it is. Amen. But we are still blessed. Yeah. We are still blessed. Amen. You can complain about your shoes, but thank God you got feet. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We, we ought to give God praise for all things. Amen. Amen. So you just don't know. Amen. The enemy will bring all kind of stuff in your mind, and the bad stuff. Amen. But you don't know how blessed you really are. Amen. Sing with us. Amen. As we sing the song. Amen. In the word of the Lord. Amen. And the Lord will uh, bless us today in Jesus' name. And be a, a participator and not just an uh, observer. Amen. We want to bless the Lord. We want to clap our hands. We want to stop our feet. We want to say amen. And as the word goes forth, amen. You just don't know how blessed you are. I've got my name.
I have a burden, amen, for, for those who are not saved, amen. Sometimes it bothers me, sometimes it brings tears to my eyes, but I have a burden, amen, and a desire that souls might be saved. But God impressed upon my heart that that is not too late. Yeah. It's not too late. Uh, because sometimes we will we will see people and we, we will tell them because of what they're doing or what they have done, uh, we might tell them, amen, that they're hell bound. And maybe that's true, they're hell bound. But, but people need to understand, amen, that regardless of what you have done in your life, it's still not too late. Uh, I think it's in the scriptures in Ecclesiastes around the ninth chapter, Verse 3 or 4, it talks about, maybe 4, it talks about, about a, a, a dead dog is better than, than, than a, 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 a living dog. Living dog is better than, than a dead, dead lion. Living dog is better than a dead lion. Amen. But the living dog, amen, he, he, he's, he's got hope. He's got hope because he's still living, amen. But the lion, amen, once you go, you don't have any more hope. So as long as there's breath in your body, yeah, yeah, uh, as long as you encounter somebody that's breathing, so if you can, if you can see me or you can hear me, then you still have hope. And that's what God wants us to let people know, amen, regardless of what you have done. And you've heard me say it, and I'll say it again, amen, that you cannot unchange what you have done. Right. Cannot. And sometimes folks get tied up on what somebody else has done, or what some of your children have done, or some of your family members have done, amen. They may have been a crackhead, or a drughead, an alcoholic, a fornicator, an adulterer. Ah, uh, God, don't get tired of all that because, see, see, as long as you are breathing, there's still hope. There's still hope. There's still hope. So, so I, I, I'm trying my best not to get tied around that axle uh, of telling people uh, that you, you've done this and you've done that and, and now, now there's no longer hope because God wants us to instill hope in people. Uh, see, see, I, I know, I know that, that many years ago, amen, people who, who had the truth, amen, felt that it was their job to beat up those who didn't have it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, that is, it's my duty. God, God wants me to do this. God wants me to beat up those who don't have it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, and see, y'all say, well, well, how do you know? Because see, I was on the end of that beating. I know, I know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, see, see, people who who thought they had the truth were coming instead of trying to help me to to get to where they are, they were trying to beat me up. Amen. To where I am now, I can't do nothing. Right. Are y'all hear me? Yeah. Uh, so so I, so now now it, it's not my duty. It's not my duty to beat you up uh, where you are. It's my duty to try to try to build you up. Ah, uh, see, see, the church needs to know this, and I, I, I don't know. I, I think we're going to a different age now, where, where we have to understand that it's, it's the job of the church to edify yeah, right. and not to destroy. Ah, right. uh, it's the job of the church now to build up. And, and I found out that a lot of people now they're not coming to church because a lot of church folks are beating folks up who in the world who need to come to church. And, and now, now, now they're saying, well, well you're going to beat me up. I, I don't want to be beat up like that, but I want to be. Now, I understand. We cannot replace him in that with the truth. The truth still must be spoken. Right. You're here, I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the Bible tells us to speak the truth in love. Uh, see, see, you can still speak the truth in love. Amen. And, and that, that's what God is impressing upon me. Amen. You keep on. Don't, don't dilute the truth. You keep on speaking the truth. But you speak the truth not in hatred, you're speaking in love. You don't speak the truth to beat them down, you speak the truth to build them up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm saying all this to say this because, because in the scripture on today, when you read it, it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. You know, when, when I was in the airport, I was I was in, in the, uh, uh, the squadron called the PA, the Public Affairs, and, 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 and I, I was going to call it a photojournalist. And, and what we would do, we would go out and take pictures, and, and then and take pictures, and then we had to write stories about the pictures that we were telling. And, and they say, when you take the picture, there's always a backstory to the picture that you're taking. Don't just take the picture, find out what the backstory is. Mm. And as I look at this scripture, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. There's a backstory to this. And, and the backstory that the people were complaining that they were fasting and that they were doing things for God, and God would pay them no mind. Mm. Uh, uh, that they were fasting and, and they, 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 were, they, were, they had a delight for God, and, and they, they went to the airport. 
those churches and they did all these things, but, but yet God wasn't paying them no mind. And, and they began to get upset that, that why are we doing all of this and God is not paying us no attention. We are fasting, we're coming to church, and we're, we're coming to prayer meeting. We do all of these things and God is not paying us any attention. And they were concerned as to why do we have to continue doing all of these things and yet God is not paying us no mind. So there, therefore God sent the prophet Isaiah and to speak to the people and tell the people that it's not so much that I'm not paying you no mind, but there's a separation now. There's a wall, there's a partition now that between me and you. God said, I want, I want you to reach me, but we got to tear down that wall of partition. So, so what God told Isaiah is to tell the people for me that my hand is not so short that I cannot see. Uh, tell the people that regardless of what they're doing, I don't care what they're doing or what they have done, I want you to let them know, oh my God, that I'm ready to save them, I'm able to save them, oh, but they've got to break down that wall of sin that's separating us. Oh, yeah. oh my God. So the prophet Isaiah began to go to his people and tell the people, behold, the Lord told me to tell you that his hand Uh, that he cannot save you. Uh, God said, I don't care what you've done. Uh, and see, we got to understand that there are people in the world that need to be saved and, and they're looking for somebody to come and tell them that yes, there is hope. There is hope. See, everything is not doom and gloom. I, I know that sometimes people want it to be doom and gloom, but everything is not doom and gloom. God said, tell the people that there You, you remember 
Are y'all hearing me? Uh, so, so the word here that behold the Lord's hand is not so short. It's not so short that it cannot save. I want you to understand today that God can save anybody. I want to stretch that out again. I said, God, this is anybody. Oh, it's not too late. Regardless of what you've done, don't let that thing that you've done keep you from coming to God. Because God said, I can say anybody. He said, he said anybody who come to me, I will in no way cast it. Oh, yeah. Y'all hear me? Uh, see, this is the message in the of evangelism uh, to tell people, people need to know that they can come to God.
God, but what God don't hear me. My God, it's not something that God don't hear you. It may God choose not to hear you. Uh, you understand? See, God, God can make a choice of whether He want to hear you or not. My God, see, see sometimes we'll stand before God and we'll wave our hand at God and we'll, we'll run around for God. And God said, I, I ain't putting up with none of that because God said, now I'm looking at what you're doing. What you're Righteousness and they forsook not 
they forsook not the orders of their God, and they asked of me the orders of justice, and they take delight in approaching the God. Look at verse number three. Wherefore have we fasted, they say. Wherefore have we fasted, they say they. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest us not. Why have we afflicted our soul, and you don't take no knowledge? Oh my God, they begin to fuck with God. God, we are going out. Not coming to church. Yes. <laughs> you come to the church. Yeah. It's not that you're not coming to prayer, but you, you, you come to the prayer. Meeting. God, God see, I see you when you show up. I see you doing all I, 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 I know when you're fasting. I know all of this. So, but that's not the problem. I know what you're doing, but, but God says, here, yeah, but your iniquities. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, you'll see it. Uh, see, 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 you can come to church and still do some wrong things. Right. Are y'all hearing me? See, that's why, you know, I don't get wrong. You know, I, I'm a church folk myself, but see, church folk, sometimes we, we mess up. Sometimes, sometimes we try to let folk know that, you know what, I'm a church folk and I'm better than you are. But God said, no, you ain't no better. You, 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 are, you are saved and, and you are forgiven, but you ain't that much better. Because see, I'll tell you one thing, that devil can, can put something in front of your face and it might draw you out again. You got to be careful. My God, the Bible said to him that think if you stand it. Do what? Take heed. Uh, this is the word. I thought this is the word this morning. This is the word this morning. Uh, to him that thinks he's standing, do what? You better take heed. Lest you do what? Lest you fall. Oh, don't, don't get the big head because you're you so good. And, oh, you've been seeing 30 and 40 years and 50 years. That's fine. But you know what? I've seen people who say that long and still fall. Are you hearing? They can still fall. You got to be very, very careful. So if I say for you, but your iniquities, your iniquities have done what? It has separated you. God said one time we had a relationship. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a relationship, but then you allowed sin to come in. And when that sin came in, it separated us. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, so I say, uh, I won't live with you no more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to live together. You know, sometimes people in marriages, they, they have a problem. Sometimes they'll, before they get divorced, they'll, they'll, they'll have a separation. Oh, are you, are you still with us? No, we separated now. Yeah. That means that now there's something that came. See, see, there is no separation until something came between that thing. You understand? And as long as everything was right, there would be no separation. But when something steps in there and that's wrong, it will do what it can separate. And then one will go to the right and one will go to the left. And they will never come back together again until they work that thing out. Oh, yeah. So what God is trying to tell Isaiah to tell the people, I know that we are separated now. But tell them it's not too late. Tell them that we can still come back. Y'all follow. Uh, but when I left, you messed it up. When I left, you were sinning. When I left, you were lying. And God said, you still doing those things. I'm not coming back. He says here, but your sins or your iniquities have done what? They have separated between you and your God. They have put a wall, a partition between us. Oh, but it's not that God don't want to save. God can save. But see, see, God wants to save after you have repented. It is turning away from the sin. Right, right. And some people think that, that repentance is just turn, stop doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Repentance is stop doing what you're doing and walk back, go back toward God. Yeah. 
Oh, you know the, the prodigal son, amen, when he went away, my God, he went away, but, but the father saw him from afar, and, and the, the father looked at him, and, and, and the son was coming back home, and the father ran the boat toward the son, and accepted the son back, but only when the son decided, I'm going back home again, uh, and that's what God is trying to tell him, even though we are far from God, even though we are doing some things that wrong, God said, I want you to turn around. I will accept you if you repent of your sins. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Last verse of your sins and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not he will not hear. Mm. Thanks to God. I want to tell you this morning that there are people that's waiting for you to give them a message of hope. Y'all hear me? Hope. Hope. I know it's so easy to beat folks down. That's the, and, you know, and I did the same thing. <laughs> I did the same thing. I was guilty of that myself. I beat people down and tell them that what they shouldn't do. You should have that. You should have that. You should have that. And tell them what they should be doing. God is able to clean you up. Oh yeah. Oh my God. My God. Well, I know sometimes you know the old folks just say, 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 you got, you got the, uh, you got the, uh, the fish that you to clean the fish for you know what eat them. Some, some of them say that, right? But you can't, but we can't clean this fish. <laughs> you got to catch the fish. Before you can clean, right? Thank you, bro. You gotta catch the fish first, right? So sometimes we, we try to clean them before we before they even caught. Are y'all hear me? We, we, we gotta catch them. And how how do we catch them? We catch them by first of all tell them about God, about Jesus. He's still able. He's able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all that we ask or think. According to the power that work is in us. I'm so glad that one day I got caught. The day I got caught, I wasn't trying to get caught. I wasn't trying to get caught. I just got caught. I wasn't trying to get caught. As a matter of fact, I was the life I was living, I, I didn't want to get caught. Are you here? I, I really, I, I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm being totally transparent with you. The life I was living, I really didn't want to get caught. Because people will tell you that there ain't nothing in the world. You ever heard that term? There ain't nothing in the world. There ain't, ain't nothing in the world. Oh, yeah. Don't believe that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you fall for that. Because you know what? If it wasn't nothing in the world, I'll tell you one thing. It wouldn't be so people out there. But there's so much out there. So much. Somebody, well, you know what? I, I was so miserable. You weren't miserable. Yeah. You were only miserable that, that you stayed in it so long when you got saved because of the knowledge. That now I know how miserable I'm, but you can't see how miserable it is until you come out. You weren't miserable. I, I was having, I was perfect having a good time in the world, but plan on being saved. But then one day, yeah. one day, yeah. I said one day, yeah. I made up my mind, I wouldn't even get married. I made up my mind, I'm going to be a backup. I, I love the life. I look, well, what, what, why tied out to one woman? But, but that don't make no sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All these women in the world. You mean I'm going to get one? <laughs> no, that, that don't make no sense. But one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day. Y'all hear me? One day. See, I, and, and I, I was never, the, 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 I didn't, I never smoked weed in my life. Never, never, I've been around people smoking weed. Never, never smoked weed in my life. Never done that. I, I didn't, never drunk no more than probably that much. I didn't, I didn't but see, I, I did have some problems. They have some problems. And I said, well, Lord, hey, hey, marriage is not for me. Yeah. I'm enjoying the life too much. Yeah. But one day, 
one day. Yes. As they say, I went to a meeting one night. Oh, yes. <laughs> and my heart wasn't right. Oh, yes. And then as they say, something got a hold of me. Yes. And y'all, I've never been the same since. Yes. And I know I got a witness. Raise your hand if you're a witness. Raise your hand if you're a witness. Oh, yeah. witness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that you went to that proverbial meeting one night and, and you haven't been the same yes. since. Oh, haven't been the same since. Right. You thank God. And God wants to know, you know, it's not too late, y'all. Right. This this lesson, I mean, this message was not so much for, for the church. It's for those yes. who are not in the church. That it's not too late. Yes. Because somebody waiting for you to tell them that they're still oh, yes. open. So let's don't beat them up too bad, y'all. Let's don't beat them up. Let's, let's, let's tell them that God is good. He's a loving God. And he wants to save you. Regardless of what you've ever done, if you go to Christ right. and you repent of your sins, go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of the right. sins, tell you what, He will fill you yes. with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Pray much for me. Yes. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Come on, we give God praise. We give God praise. God for the word. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not too late. Amen. If you don't know the Lord, amen, as, the, uh, as the word is going out, if you don't know the Lord, there's breath in your body, you still have time. Amen. You don't have to wait. Amen. Any longer. Amen. Uh, and we thank God for the word. Amen. Yes, an evangelistic message, but it's also a message to the church. Amen. On how we ought to deal with people. It is the love of God, love amen, of God. that we use to restrain people, amen. Hell is real, yes. amen. Sin is wrong, amen. But yes. it's the love of God, amen, thank that Lord. draws man yes. unto God. Amen. So we thank God for the word of the Lord, amen. Thank God we ought to all develop a burden, amen, for souls and uh, and reach, amen, and do it, amen, in the right spirit, amen. Right, right, right. amen. We're about to dismiss, but uh, if you have heard the word today, reach out to us, amen. You can call, amen, our church, amen, 803-727-6117, amen. Reach out to us, amen, and we can pray with you. We can uh, baptize you in Jesus' name, amen, because we want souls, amen. We want everyone to be saved in Jesus' name, amen. We praise God. We ask everybody to stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. That is not too late. Not, it's not too late. late. Not Amen. Too late. Amen. You don't have to be sick. Amen. That's right. right. That's right. Uh, the brother mentioned uh, the, the uh, uh, Keith Wonderboy Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be sick. No. Amen. No. There's something, something that's all of a sudden happened. Right. 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 And, uh, and so um, think about your soul. Amen. Right. Right. Think about your soul. Young and old. <laughs> Young and old. Whoever you are. Wherever you are in life, yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. to be thinking about thank you. your yes. soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Lord, Lord, we thank you for your thank blessings. You. We thank you for this gathering of your people. Thank, thank you, God, for Lord. the worship. Thank you, God, for the yeah. word. I pray, God, to bless uh, those who have heard. I pray that your the, the hearts are pricked on this morning, God, that you bless in the name of Jesus, oh God, that they will make up their minds yeah. for us to make in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray now that you bless us even as we prepare. Oh God, to leave this place, oh God, let your presence be around us, oh God, and we're going to give you praise, glory, and the honor. These things we ask and we praise you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.